That is, that is. <clears throat> Whose car is that? Furry missile? Drop. Give me 50. While he's doing 50, let me explain. Roughneck keyboard commandos do not clean off their cars with snow. You do a little strip so you can see where you're going, and you keep all the other windows blind of the snow, and you have as much snow piled on top as possible so that when you hit speed, sheets of ice blow off and hit other dumb assholes as you're driving around. We're assholes, that's the way we drive. At, come on, get, get that back straight. Just do three more and then recover, jack wagon. Okay. Corporal Captain David Finkel here, your uh, drill instructor. For those of you who want to be keyboard commandos and roughneck, uh, what do you call yourselves? Chairborne Rangers. Okay. I'm going to give a series of classes. I've got the documentation. First is the uh, Regulation AR 670 Kaiser. This is a wear and appearance of the uniform. This is where you will wear things like this, Corporal Captain. Corporal Captain. You will uh, wear uh, fakey uh, canteens so you look like you have something to do with the military, even though most of you have never served in your life. And you will drink from empty canteen cups so you look like you have something to do with the military. Uh, yeah, it's empty. Stage. Okay. Um, in future classes, we will be going over things like uh, cyber terrain, combat and survival field manual. This is also another Kaiser publication for our training purposes. And for those of you who want to be promoted someday, we're going to be going over the uh, FM 22-100, the Kaiser Leadership Manual. <clears throat> Today's not really a formal class. Today is an indoctrination because uh, you pogues, if you want to be keyboard commandos and chairborne rangers, you're going to need how to sustain yourselves to fight the keyboard commando wars and the chairborne ranger wars. Now, I got these supplies through a couple organizations, three to be exact. No, not not through the quartermaster. What's her name? Dixie. No, that's that's on the low level. That that's for the usual roughnecks. We are the elite fighting force of Roughneck Six. Roughneck Six is dear leader Mikey Kaiser himself. The drill instructor you see in the chats, Dixie, the quartermaster, they're low level. This is high level. Uh, for example, Dixie, quartermaster. Uh, that's what, on a company level? This particular MRE came from K4. In the real services, you have uh, S4, which is supply and logistics for a battalion, uh, maybe a brigade. And you have uh, G4 for the division and higher elements. Well, this is Kaiser Four Shop. This is the supply shop on the, uh, on the upper echelons of the keyboard commandos and the chairborne rangers. Now, once you graduate from chairborne ranger school, you will be given a six month resubscription to something very much like amazon.com. We call it imbecile.com. And you'll be able to order stuff like this, like this, like this, so you can fake your way through military veteranship. Ugh. But to compare, I also went to the local uh, Quantico where they have the Marine Corps Museum, and you can buy actual MREs that the Marine Corps uses. And also nearby is Fort Belvoir where they have the Army Museum. And at Fort Belvoir Army Museum, you can also buy the army version of the mill ready to eat. So I'm going to go th over the three mills ready to eat so that you, the Chairborne Ranger, can sustain themselves in a cyber war, in a cyber fight. 
All right, I'm going to adjust that camera. So those of you who are too snivelly to get up this morning, it's about 7.30. It's a little chilly, not bad. All right, for those pussies at home, I'm going to adjust the camera so you can get a close-up. Eddie's, Eddie's. Coming through, coming through. A little bit further out. How's that? Can you all in the live audience see it? Can you all lazy fucks at home see it? All right. We have three standard MREs. One from the uh, Marine Corps, one from the Army, and one from K-4. Which one's first? Belvoir, the United States Army. Okay, meal ready to eat. You'll see that they are very well packaged and very well preserved. What do we have here? Tabasco sauce. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines all around the world find that this crap will taste better with this crap. Tabasco sauce is a must. If you get an MRE without Tabasco sauce, you will beg, you will borrow, you will steal. You will do whatever you can to get the Tabasco sauce. All right, what else we got in here? We have a water heater. All you need is a little bit of water and the ability to read. You can uh, pour the water in and you can warm up your meal ready to eat, any portion of it. However, since you are the Roughneck Chairborn Rangers and the Roughneck Keyboard Commandos, you may need this when you can't pay your parents the utility bills that they need to keep the heat on, to keep the hot water on. All right, we're going to set that aside. These are, these are vital for when you can't pay your utility bills. This is a spoon. A spoon will help you to distribute the food into your mouth. This is chunky peanut butter. This will help with your constipation. Really. Honestly. Okay. These are crackers. No. Not the euphemism for a white person who doesn't understand hip-hop music. These are the kind of crackers you eat. It's kind of hard on the digestive system of you soft pussies. I hope the other two varieties have easier items to eat. This is a French vanilla cappuccino. Excuse me a minute. Once you go to imbecile.com and you can order things like these, you can actually put the water and the cappuccino mix outside the package, of course. Mix it up and put it on the back of an M1 A1's uh, tank and heat it up real quick. You probably don't want to let the crew of the Abrams tank know that you are there so that you can be crunched when they back up suddenly. Oh, we have some good stuff here. MRE Jalapeno Cashews. Yum the fuck yum. Apple Cinnamon Nutritious Energy Bar. This is hard on your soft digestive systems. Hopefully this will be something more adequate to your digestive systems. And here we have some toilet paper. Some of you nasty fucks don't wipe. We also have some chewing gum. This is really great for 
those of you who don't brush your teeth, this will temporarily kill that bad breath you have. What do we have here? Applesauce. Something that that spoon might be used for. This is a little easier on your tender digestive systems. So this one is very important for you pussies. All right, and we have, this looks like it might be the main course. Vegetarian taco pasta. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it may be hard on your digestive systems. Hopefully, either the Marine Corps or the K4 MREs will be better for your digestive systems. Here we got the MRE I purchased from the Quantico Marine Corps Museum. Really fascinating place. If you're going to bullshit your way about a military career, that and the Belvoir Museum are great places to go learn enough facts to lie your asses off. All right. This is what the Marine Corps are eating. This might be harder in your digestive system. I don't know. Marines are harder. This might be harder. So let's give it a try. Let's, let's open this fucker up. All right. What the fuck? Crayola crayons. I do not understand this. We have individual portions, we have small portions, we have large portions of Crayola crayons. Let me go ask someone about this. Where's Stone Vet? Stone Vet, where are you at? Okay, it has been explained to me. The marine palate can digest these and make something of it. Your palate cannot. How will this benefit you? For example, we have a reddish colored crayon. This can be used to edit your resume. This can be used to edit your DD-214 or create a new one. This will make your DD-214 believable. So you can lie your ass way through keyboard commandoing and chairborne rangering. Highly recommended. I don't recommend you eat it because you have to be a real man like a Marine or a real woman like a Marine to digest this stuff. Okay, last and not least, something that caters specifically to your palate. The Chairborne Ranger, the Keyboard Commando, the Roughneck. This, this, is, this, is, uh, this is highly recommended by Roughneck Six himself. This is based on his actual diet. Let us see what K4 has distributed for you, the Chairborne Rangers and the keyboard commandos. Mmm, yum. That, uh, that looks like dog poop. Okay, all right. What have we have? Oh, we have cat poop. We have dog poop, we have cat poop. Oh, the best, this is human poop. Mmm, yeah, this, this, is, this is rough neck quality food here. Poop, poop, poop. There's there some kind of medicines here. What, wait a minute, what is this? An empty box of crayons. Yes, it's empty. What's up with that? Oh, this is so while you're eating your K rations, your K4, your Kaiser rations, you can pretend you are eating Marine Corps food. Of course, it's a, it's a deep fake because there's, there's no Marine Corps food in there. The real mean Marine Corps food is in the Marine MRE. Ah, yes, yum. All kinds of poop. Yum, 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 yum. This also serves as ammunition when you're going up against the, uh, the T-Jaw sites. The truth, justice, and American way. You can lob these poop grenades at T-Jaw or you can use them for sustenance. Yummy. Now there's a couple things in here that do not look like normal substance. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, some diuretic poop. Mmm, yes. All kinds of... Easy on your digestive system. Okay, we have... Oxycodone and Percocets with the labels stripped off because these are stolen from old ladies. Okay, if you take one or the other, you can excel at the bullshit of a keyboard commando 
or a Cherborn Ranger. But if you take both, you can have those Kaiser-like eyes, those shell shit eyes. Highly recommended for uh, operations in the cyber battlefield. Mmm, good stuff, good stuff. They also make you fill your dentures a little bit less when your dentures aren't fitted. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of poop in here. Wow. If you're going to eat a meal ready to eat, I highly recommend the ones issued by K4 or bought on imbecile.com. Now, let me adjust the camera one more time because I have something else to say. That has nothing to do with the meal ready to eat. Got to, got to, got to, got to. Okay. All right, you Cherubor Rangers, you keyboard commandos. I will continue training. And we will go through various classes and how you can best do your job set forth by Roughneck Six, Mikey E. Kaiser, Michael W. Kaiser. I'm sorry, there's no E. Let's get serious. I'm going to put my hands in my pocket. Is this fucking cold out here? Throughout my military career, I've never seen combat, neither as Corporal Captain Finkel or as a real member of the United States Armed Forces. I was in the Navy, I was in the Army, and I was in the National Guard. One of my units, uh, the commanding officer was Captain Luck, L-U-C-K-E. Uh, last time I saw him, he was a major in Hohenfeld, but where I worked for him was at a unit called Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 187th Infantry, Rockasson, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, 101st Airborne Air Assault. Our battalion commander was David E. Petraeus. That's, I was thinking of that E on Petraeus. You may have heard of Mr. Petraeus. He uh, eventually got a few stars. He eventually became a CIA director, and now he occasionally pops up in the news. Well, in the Rockasons, not Roughnecks. Rockasan 6 was uh, Petraeus. Roughneck 6 is Kaiser. I don't want to say this. I was an Alpha Company. There are Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta headquarters. In Alpha, well, all of the companies, they give uh, nicknames to the company unit that has something to do with that first letter A. For us, it was angels from hell. And damn me, that was in 1992. That was a minute ago. <coughs> if I was going before an NCO of the quarter board, I would fail because I don't remember exactly how that story developed. The Rockasons, the 187th Infantry, I believe was World War II, maybe one, somewhere in the past, not while I was in it. This was history by the time I was in it. The Rockasons did some kind of big rescue missions and they paratrooped it. This is before air assault. This is back in the airborne days. And the enemy, I believe, was Japanese. I might have the enemy wrong. I might have the war wrong. But they referred to those folks coming down out of, uh, down in parachutes, and kicking ass and taking names. They referred to them in their language as angels from hell. What is an angel? What is from hell? In my spiritual beliefs, this is not a formal religion. Satan, Lucifer, the fallen angel, actually is not evil. I believe the true evil is the ego, E-G-O, of man. <clears throat> From the perspective of the, uh, of the enemy, we were deemed angels from hell because we were, uh, we were coming from the sky and we were kicking ass and taking names and enemies don't like getting their asses kicked. I don't know how they see an angel from hell or from otherwise as good or evil. I see it as on God's side but punishing the ego, the evil of man. I'm not saying I'm a Satan worshiper or a devil worshiper, but I'm, I'm saying that the 
Western concept of a devil may be wrong. I don't think it's good versus evil in the heavens. I believe it's good versus evil right here on earth. You have good guys and you have bad guys. The bad guys usually are self-centered pricks like your dear leader, Mikey Kaiser. <clears throat> Ego. That's where evil comes from. The angels from hell, demons from hell, the Satan, I believe, is put in the universe to punish those on God's side, on the higher power side, the universe, however you want to do it. <clears throat> All right, cameraman, bring it in. Bring it in a little more. Can you see me clearly? Can you make out my non-shell shit eyes? I want to talk about Lance Corporal Cameron. He died probably on a day like this, around Christmas 2009. And much to my dismay, I'm seeing Kaiser's channel grow. He's getting more subscriptions. He's getting more audience members when he does his live streams. He's getting more views on his videos. Why? I was disgruntled about this. I was upset about this. But it came to my belief in recent days that we are being motivated from beyond by Lance Corporal Cameron not to give this motherfucker Kaiser money through our views, subscriptions, attending his uh, live streams. <clears throat> that does give him money. And he's going to need that money to pay his parents' rent. He's going to need that money to pay his lawyers because the motherfuckers are coming for him. Mikey Kaiser is a murderer. And I can say that without all the evidence before me because the evidence is out there before others. And I can say that because I don't have to worry about him coming after me for defamation, for libel, for slander. I can say that because in order for him to come after me, he has to prove that what I'm saying is lying. That motherfucker is a murderer and his victim is motivating us from beyond to come for you, motherfucker! You! Your day is coming! And your 6,000 plus audience members, they're going to see it. The bigger your channel grows, the harder you're going to fall when they come and put you in those shiny bracelets and take you off. I don't know what does Alabama have. Gas chambers, electric chairs, lethal injections. Your day is coming, motherfucker. Cut the script.